authorities in the northern Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, UP, had demolished the houses of some Muslims who were allegedly linked to religious protests that turned violent. The protests were sparked by derogatory remarks made by two former leaders of the governing Bharatiya Janata Party, BJP, about the Prophet Muhammad. The demonstrations turned violent in some states as people damaged property. More than 300 people were arrested in UP. Local authorities demolished three Muslim-owned houses over the weekend alleging that they had been illegally constructed, a claim denied by some of the owners. The demolitions triggered condemnation from opposition leaders, who accused the state government, headed by Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath, of targeting the minority Muslim community. Critics say religious polarization has deepened in India since 2014, when the Hindu nationalist BJP came to power. Hate speech and attacks against Muslims have risen sharply over the past few years. A tweet from Raiti Anjay Kumar, Mr. Adityanath's media advisor, also sparked outrage. He had tweeted a photo of a bulldozer demolishing a building, adding, Unruly elements remember, every Friday is followed by a Saturday. Two of the destroyed houses belonged to people who were accused of throwing stones after Friday prayers. The third was that of a politician named Jav Damod, who has been accused of planning the protests. His daughter, Afreen Fatima, is a prominent Muslim rights activist who had participated in the protests against a controversial citizenship law. A former Chief Justice of the Allahabad High Court told the Indian Express newspaper that the demolition of Mr. Ahmed's house was totally illegal. Even if you assume for a moment that the construction was illegal, which by the way is how crores of Indians live, it is impermissible that you demolish a house on a Sunday when the residents are in custody. Former Chief Justice Govind Mathur said. An official from the Praia Graj Development Authority, PDA, which demolished Mr. Ahmed's house, has said it had issued a notice to him in May, asking him to appear before them. But M's Fatima has denied this, saying the family was only informed when a notice was stuck to their door on Saturday. A group of lawyers also wrote to the High Court, pointing out that the demolition was against the law.